All right, Shalom, Akim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakai Kodash, double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right, brothers, the time is nigh, and uh, the lesson of this, uh, the title of this video is entitled, Stay Circumspect and Use Common Sense. All right, and the reason why I'm getting on this topic is because we're coming into a time where we're going to have to adjust. I know a lot of times the highlight reel of what we have done for years is, is going out on the highways every week and, you know, teaching the people and, and we still teaching, of course, but also just certain things like being proactive and making sure we have what we need in these times and I'll start with the scripture of Ephesians 5 and 15 see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is okay so when you're circumspect you're watching you're seeing what's going on and remember in the book of second Esther, chapter 9 in the beginning it said measure thou the times diligently all right so we're watching we're seeing the times so when it comes to being circumspect and knowing what's going on around you especially brothers if if you're in rank at the camp you're ahead of a camp you one of the elders of your camp or leaders of your camp um you don't want to put brothers in a bad situation or in harm's way or anything of that nature. You want to make sure that to the best of your ability, you know, through the spirit that brothers are, uh, are straight. So with all that being said, you know, going out on the highways, you know your city. If your city is going to shut you down because they see you out there, then don't do it, you know. Now, if you have the lead way to do it, and you even have people that still walk by or go around that teach, then yeah. But a lot of a lot of these cities are becoming empty now. You know, I can I know ours is out here. Um, there has been certain curfews or certain things on gathering. If you're not six feet apart, then they'll come get you. Just different stuff like that. So, just make sure that we good or. Even when it comes to stuff like uh, the spirits that's on these people and altercations and altercations with the police and the curfews and driving around and different stuff. Hey, you just have to be mindful and, and, and be, you know, stay cool, stay, stay out of trouble pretty much, you know, because these times are evil. You know, the Lord is about to judge this place. You know, and right now, really what we're looking at, looking at is a transition to the uh, new world order. And brothers, there's no sense of you um, just also having a bottle of water and, uh, and a carton of eggs in your refrigerator. You know, if you have the means to go out and uh, get you a little more food, you know, then just go ahead and do it. I'm not saying stockpile like Esau. But if you if you need certain things, then and you can go get it, you can afford it, then go get it, man. Get you get you some extra water, get you some extra rice, get you the things that you need. Don't don't be like a a, a fool, you know. Don't be simple. The fact is, the fact of the matter is, hey, the Lord put us ahead of the curve, so the Lord letting us know things uh, uh, that are gonna happen before they happen so if you know um we know america is going to get destroyed and the rest of this world and he's coming back but while we're here we do have to make sure we do have the thing that we have the things that we need instead of uh ignoring it this is uh one of my favorite scriptures especially during this time proverbs 27 and 12 a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself but the simple pass on and are punished so if you foresee the evil as a prudent man of yahweh you're going to hide yourself see you're not going to be out in the open 
for for uh, you gonna stay out of trouble because you foresee the evil and that goes back to this scripture redeeming verse 16 redeeming the time because the days are evil all right so we know that these days are evil and there's nothing but wickedness going on so it's best for us to be on our game be circumspect be keep up with what's going on see all the things that they're trying to do because the scriptures also tell you in the uh book of uh second corinthians uh uh i believe it's chapter uh two chapter two it says uh lest satan should get the advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices so don't be ignorant of his devices and that's what it's talking about if you know what satan is trying to do and the lord has put the spirit on you and have you around brothers and all this other stuff to where you hear what this devil is going to do there's no sense of you ignoring it because that goes back to proverbs 27 and 12 when it says but the simple pass on and are punished so when you just pass on and, and even after knowing what's happening you know that's being simple you just pass on and then if you end up getting in a bad situation you could have you gonna be just looking back like with regret a bit like man i should have did something or i should have did this you know so let's just you know make sure we straight and like i say if you can go out on the highways at this time then then you know just keep doing the work but also be circumspect because they you know they trying to put brothers in bad positions you know and if you and if you believe that hey it's gonna be <laughs> the wrath come down on you or it's a bad decision then hey do sit downs you know do do what you have to do you know you know you know what's going on that's why i said that's why part of this lesson is entitled use common sense all right let's use common sense you know the scriptures ain't gonna tell you uh uh hey go take a leak when you feel like uh you need to take a leak. <laughs> it's not going to tell you that. You know when you have to get up and go use the bathroom, all right? You know that. It's not going to tell you if something important, hold it. You're not going to get these details. Why? Because you have common sense. The scriptures are telling you what's the, these things as a whole. In general, this is the way you need to conduct yourself during these times. So let's be wise, you know? This is a Sirach chapter, and this is my last scripture. This is Sirach 32 and 20. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall, and stumble not among the stones. And the focus on this is go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall. So you don't want to put you or other brothers around you in a position of where you're going to fall. All right? You know, because at the end of the day, it's going it, to, it's hard to get out of trouble, especially during these times, man. You know, it's, it's going to take a lot of resources, money and everything. So it's best just not to go in a way wherein thou mayest fall. You know what I'm saying? You know, because this man day coming, it's coming. But, you know, during these times, man, you have to just, we have to be, um, you know, of course, we got all our videos on YouTube, but we have to be low key a bit, you know, because they looking for people to try to. Uh, uh, they looking for people like us to put in a bad position. All right, but they'll have nothing to say because we not ignorant of his devices. So, yeah, we come into that time man, where it ain't where it's, it's leading up to the famine of the word. You know, so Lord will you, bros, were edified. Shalom.